Thanks, Tom. Well, first of all, Tom, I have to come clean. Um, it actually took um, Arthur Van Hoff, our CTO, and his team about one and a half weeks to do the demo. And for the last one and a half weeks, we've just been scooting around with these products at Zing. So. <laughs> Needless to say, our productivity has gone to hell thanks to Pandora. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Thank you. Thank you. In all seriousness, it's great to be here, and we really thank the whole Pandora team for uh, asking us to be crazy and try to create something in record time. Um, but it does show you the power of the Pandora Everywhere platform. All of us at Zing love Pandora. We're huge fans of the Pandora radio service. We think it's one of the best discovery services or rediscovery services that's out there. And what we do at Zing is we focus exclusively on connected mobile entertainment solutions. And we don't really care about the transport per se, be it Wi-Fi, WiMAX, 3G, you know, satellite, or whatever other protocol in some third world country. Um, the main thing is about bringing discovery together with personalization, the ability to get that content that you're discovering. And so there were some questions earlier about, you know, retail. Um, you know, there was one button on that, on that screen that, that looked a little different. And, and it was about, you know, I see the future as, as bringing not only this great Pandora discovery service, um, but more direct fulfillment um, of, of what you are discovering, uh, sort of that instant gratification, which, which we think will make the user experience that much more compelling, that much more engaging, uh, that much more satisfying. Uh, after all, we like to be you know, immediately gratified um, as consumers. But uh, just as importantly, I think it's, it's, it's something that would be really great for the music industry um, as well. And, you know, the stats that Tim went over earlier are just mind-boggling. Um, and, and I do hope that all the labels take note of that because um, I think there's a huge, huge bright future for Pandora um, and uh, uh, the, all the things, all the great things that you're doing. So. Um, with that, I just want to again thank the Pandora team. Really excited about this, and we'll hopefully get back to work at Zing one day. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks. So Tim and Arthur, the CTO from Zing, uh, uh, and Alan, the, the developer who, who created some of this great software, are all here tonight. They've brought three really, really hand-built prototypes with them, and uh, you'll all have an opportunity to take a look at that uh, uh, when we finish up here tonight, too. Um, it's really cool. I, I think for me, though, the most exciting thing about what has happened with Zing is not the potential for a new Wi-Fi connected device. That's great. But I think it's really, really exciting that they were able to build this in just three weeks. And that's the power of this, this, this everywhere platform that we've built, that we can Find, identify a new partner, they can quickly go to work and make Pandora available on an entirely new device. And it really is, I think, a foundation that's going to let us you know, go from being that tiny little dot to being, having a much bigger piece of the, of the radio pie. Thanks, Tom, and thanks for all that great work. <laughs> you know, I, So it's obviously been great fun for us to see our own engineering team produce these things. And, and uh, uh, sort of pulling these pieces all together, I think that you know, we have an audience that is engaged. We have musicians that are participating. And, and now with this kind of a, of a sort of a broad anywhere platform, it starts to realize, I think, a whole new uh, music business, um, both for listeners uh, and for musicians. And really, really exciting starting this evening to start telling a whole new story about Pandora. And, and, and I think from, from, from now on, when someone says, says that uses the word radio, uh, it means something different. Uh, and we intend to sort of, re, sort of be on the forefront of redefining that. Um, there are an awful lot of people to thank um, that made this possible. Certainly, the teams at Sonos, Sprint, and Zing for you know, tremendous work. Uh, uh, Sprint is an enormous company, uh, 60,000 employees or so, and, and this was done at lightning speed, and, and we've had a great experience with them. Uh, a great team at Gravity Mobile doing work on the phone, um, and also thanks to Annie DeFranco and Righteous Babe, uh, along with uh, Big Machine Records and Palmetto Records for providing some of the music that we heard tonight. Um, hopefully that will be sort of part of this hey, growing... Tim, Tim. Oh, Jesus. All right. 
there's one, one more thing. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Uh, Pandora.com, its design at least, is, is, is either a kind of fun retro homage to iTunes circa 1999, uh, or maybe the best use of khaki on the internet. <laughs> Uh, we sometimes, though, get letters that are, are a little less generous and say things like, it has a face that only a mother could love. <laughs> well, tonight, tonight, right now, in fact, uh, Carl, if you want to call Chris and tell him to uh, turn it on, we're launching an entirely new Pandora.com. that will let us tell this everywhere story while continuing to deliver the, the best possible listening experience on the web in a more compelling fashion, and we think, frankly, much more beautiful. So, And just, just to tie up, you know, the, 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 the folks who made this possible obviously are a bunch of employees uh, at Pandora. Uh, we have a, an unbelievable group of people, the engineers who have been really highlighted tonight, but, you know, wrapped around them is an organization of just talented, dedicated, you know, music-loving, uh, employees that like do sort of the extra effort all the time, whether it's you know spending a little bit more time on an email, you know, making that font just right, um, working you know that extra mile for biz dev partnerships, which ought take a long time to to put together. Um, I think everybody that's part of Pandora this is a really proud moment. Uh, certainly is for me, and and you should all feel I think really um, good about what you've done, and also about the kind of potential that's about to be unleashed, and. Also, all the folks in these many years, seven and a half years that have supported the company, uh, when we were struggling and, and it wasn't clear that we were going to make it, there were a lot of people that pitched in um, as investors, as you know, uh, employees, uh, as uh, vendors doing stuff for free and helping us kind of navigate those, those waters and making this possible now. So I hope that all of them will eventually see this. Um, we have videotaped this evening. You're probably wondering what the video cameras were. It was live on all three networks um, all night. <laughs> um, and we're going to be creating a video of this presentation and putting it up on the web tomorrow uh, after an all-night uh, video capturing session. So uh, thank you so much for coming tonight here. Uh, really enjoyed talking with all of you. Um, And please stick around. We're going to open up the stage and invite you to come up uh, and grab a phone or grab a Sonos or a squeeze box uh, or a Zing device and, you know, have at it. Uh, so come on up. And we have uh, employees, many of them wearing gray Pandora uh, outfits that will have phones. But if you want one, just, you know, come look and we'll give it to you. <laughs>